hello guys welcome to the next session hope you are all practicing the previous sections please have a note practice is very much very much important okay please practice okay in this section we will complete the section icons and we will move on to the next one okay uh, the remaining uh, icons we will discuss now okay now uh, this is the place where we left the previous video hmm? Now we will see the use of centerline option. The centerline is very much useful to create the parallel or collinear objects. Uh, we uh, will be doing it. Okay, click on the centerline and click the uh, center of the circle. The best part of the creo is that uh, all the corners, all the tangents, all the center points are being highlighted. Okay, click on the center and you can create the center line at variable altitude uh, variable angles you want okay now i am i need a vertical center line and i also need a horizontal center line okay now i can click escape now i can create the collinear circles or collinear rectangles possible so click on the circle so i can uh, easily hover over the center line and create the collinear circles hmm? This is possible in Creo. Okay, now you will discuss the use of point. Point is also very much useful if you want to split up uh, the uh, surfaces. So, I, uh, for example, if you need a point for the circle, click here. So, new point will be created. Similarly, I need point here. Now I have created four points. Click escape. I now I can easily join these two points and the below two points with the line. So uh, the points are automatically being highlighted since we have uh, split up the uh, since we have created a separate point using the point option. If we have if we have haven't done so, it will be very much difficult for us. So see, we have created a separate line which joins the two objects. In order to create a complete surface, we need to elevate the delete segment option to trim, trim this curve and trim this curve. Okay, similarly trim this curve and trim this curve. Click on the center button to verify whether it is a completely closed one. See, I have a beautiful, unique curve we have created. Right. Uh, by using these options uh, we can create a separate new things this is the 2d diagram 2d sketch which we have created in the upcoming sections we will be dealing how we can create a 3d diagram or how we can transform the 2d into 3d okay stay tuned don't forget to practice practice is the key right thank you this brings the end of the section also the end of the video don't forget to take the quiz right thank you bye